Hi everyone. Today we are going to see the topic is NDT non destructive test. What is NDT and what is DT? NDT is nothing but non destructive test and DT is a destructive test. The definition of NDT non destructive test is examination of an object in any method which will not affect its future usefulness is called non destructive test. அதாவது ஒரு பொருள் இருக்குதுனாக்கா அதோட ஃபியூச்சர் யூஸ்ஃபுல்னஸ் அதோடைய அது எதுவுமே டேமேஜ் பண்ணாம அதோட ஃபியூச்சரோட யூஸ்ஃபுல்னஸ் அதை பாதிக்காத அளவுல அதை வந்து டெஸ்ட் பண்ணி அதை கண்டுபிடிக்கிற மெத்தட் தான் வந்து நான் டிஸ்ட்ரக்டிவ் டெஸ்ட் இன் டிஸ்ட்ரக்டிவ் டெஸ்ட் இன் எக்ஸாமினேஷன் ஆஃப் அண்ட் ஆப்ஜெக்ட் இன் எனி மெத்தட் விச் வில் அஃபெக்ட் இட்ஸ் ஃபியூச்சர் யூஸ்ஃபுல்னஸ் அதாவது இப்போ டிஸ்ட்ரக்டிவ் டெஸ்ட்ல ஒரு பொருளை யூஸ் பண்றோம்னாக்கா அந்த பொருளை டெஸ்ட் பண்ணதுக்கு அப்புறமா அதை வந்து ஃபர்தரா வந்து ஃபியூச்சர் அப்ளிகேஷனுக்கு யூஸ் பண்ண முடியாது ப்ராடக்ட் இஸ் கோயிங் டு பி ஸ்கிராப் அதுதான் வந்து டிஸ்ட்ராக்டிவ் டெஸ்ட் அப்படின்னு சொல்றாங்க சம் டிஸ்ட்ராக்டிவ் டெஸ்ட் ஆர் டென்சைவ் ஸ்ட்ரெஸ் இம்பாக்ட் ஹார்ட்னஸ் டெஸ்ட் ஃபாட்டிக் டெஸ்ட் பெண்ட் ஷியர் டெஸ்ட் டஃப்னஸ் டெஸ்ட் அண்ட் டெப்டைலி டெஸ்ட் வென் எ ப்ராடக்ட் விச் அண்டர் கோஸ் தி டிஸ்ட்ராக்டிவ் டெஸ்ட் இட் கேனாட் பி further proceed for the use uh, future uses some important non destructive tests are visual test liquid penetrator test magnetic particle test ultrasonic test radiographic test eddy current test leak test and vibration analysis we are mainly using this uh, methods to test an object in a non destructive testing methods when we are entering into that ndt we have to know society of ndt asnt and isnt asnt is expands as american society for non destructive test and isnt is indian society for non test non destructive test we are mainly using asnt standards for uh, non destructive test the main application of ndt is to find the welding defects when a two metal plate is going to be in metal one this is metal two and the welding process carried out between the two metal this is a welded area if any defects which occurs on the welded area we have to find the defects on that area by the non destructive testing methods the main uses of ndt is flaw detection leak detection dimensional measurement structural and microstructural characterizations in this welding process the defects may occurs at the surface level or the depth in depth level and the whole welded area anywhere the defects can be occurs when taking the welded area from top to 3 mm it is called surface level then the depth area is called subsurface level depending on the defects it may classified into two types one is surface level detection and another one is subsurface level detection in sub in surface level detection we have to find the defect occurs up to 3 mm from the surface level in sub surface level we have to find the defects which occurs wherever in the welded area in surface level detection we are using two methods one is liquid penetrant test lpt and another one is magnetic particle test in sub surface level we are mainly using ultrasonic test and radiography test in liquid penetrant test and magnetic particle test we have to find the surface level defects when the welding process is carried out in sub surface level we can find the defects which occurs wherever inside the welded area in ndt next we have to know field indicator or phi case 
this is the diagram of field indicator there are eight lines which are placed the thickness of the field indicator is 3.25 mm there are eight lines which on the surface of that pie cage each line's depth is 0.8 mm thickness the pie cage which coated by the copper on one side the pie cage which is made up of low carbon steel and another one of the side which plays the copper coating the main purpose of this pie cage is to find the direction of magnetic field and mainly used for yoke calibration calibration is nothing but to check the working condition of that machine in which calibration the parallel line which cannot be detected when we are going to check the magnetic yoke is working or not the magnetic yoke is placing both ends the parallel line which cannot be detected next we are going to see is black light the light is playing the major role to find the defects after that uh, testing methods first the required is ub light 100 watt mercury lamp the wavelength is to be 3600a to 4000a or 360nm to 400nm the intensity of light should be 1200 mu w by cm square centimeter square the area should be dark then only we have to easily find the defects occurs after the testing process carried out in normal light we cannot easily find the minor defects so we are using the black light on dark room to detect the minor level defects in ndt the mainly using methods are visual test liquid penetrant test in short form it denotes lpt or nt magnetic particle test mpt or magnetic particle inspection mpi ultrasonic test in short ut radiography inspection rt let me see one by one in visual testing method we can visually check welded area in visual test we can check by naked eyes in this testing method we can only find the surface level defects by checking our naked eyes by the visual checking we can only find the defect surface level defects which only visible to our naked eye in there is any defects which occurs in subsurface level we cannot find so the visual test is only for visual checking purpose we are using